Hey guys, Edog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today is going to be Tap Titans 2 Part 304. I hope all of you guys are having an absolutely fabulous day. Today is a very, very important day. Today is the last, I think we have 30 hours almost exactly to go ahead and get as much Firestones as we possibly can before the event is officially concluded. And we do have some work that we need to go ahead and do. But I wanted to record this video. This is a bit of an odd time for me to record the video. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and record it as soon as I could because I want to go ahead and collect our daily rewards and collect our tournament rewards to see how much extra Firestones we actually need to go ahead and get top 10%. So if we take a look here at the Firestone event here, you can see we're at 12.9%. And I've actually done quite a bit of banking today alone. I've only been doing procedures for the last four hours. So the day does reset here in wait sorry uh where do i see when the day resets actually uh wait we could just go on event i could see so so four hours and 50 minutes until the day resets and i've actually done a decent amount of prestigious 15 prestigious in the last probably four hours or so i've only been playing so i've been doing pretty good to be honest with you and considering we are you know 20 minute run times or so i took a break so that's why this is 30 minutes but you know we're still 20 minute run time so it is quite lengthy so i want to go ahead and see if we have enough to get us below 10 percent if not, I'm going to be switching to a Shadow Clone farm build, which is actually 200 diamonds to go and reset right now. And I'm going to be doing as quick of prestiges as I possibly can to get as many Firestones as I can. Because there's no way that I've come this far, 12.9%, and I'm just going to give up now uh, when I'm so close to getting top 10%. But we could get very lucky, and after collecting all these tournament rewards and stuff like that, get, um, get top 10% right now or I want to be below 8% 8% or lower and I think I'll be happy because I know the last day last 24 48 hours people grind exactly like what I'm doing so we're gonna go and start by collecting our pet here we got one pet poly and daily rewards day nine is gonna be an equipment piece or five equipment pieces all commons unfortunately but this is what we care about the firestones putting us at seven seven thousand one hundred and fifty at the moment uh, so we can go and sell all the equipment pieces. If you take a look at our daily achievements, we have all of them completed here. So we got 60 Firestones, 30 Diamonds, and 6 Raid Tickets. Awesome. So we're going to go and let that hopefully reset here. I'm going to go and do a Raid Attack. So we're going to go ahead and do a VM Attack here. So there is a decent amount of health left. Uh, what I'm actually going to go, I'm going to go and call VM. What we're shooting for here is... Um, sorry, I had the simulator run. We were at 2.687 to 2.9 million damage. So that's kind of what we're going to be shooting for here. Uh, we're going to go to our victory march deck, swap out skull bash, throw that bad boy in there. Unfortunately, my moonbeam, well, I guess not unfortunately, but uh, my moonbeam is a higher level than my skull bash by two levels. So I think we actually do get a decent amount more damage if we do attack the torso. Obviously here we take our we're attacking the head, uh, but our skull bash is still level 14. So still getting 2.6 to nearly 3 million damage is still pretty good. Um, you know, anything, anything about 2.5 million, I, I consider pretty good and pretty, I'm going to be pretty happy if I get anywhere from 2.6 to 2.9. Really, I mean, I don't submit anything that's below that average. So anything above 2 point or below 2.6, I won't submit. But if we could try to get a little bit closer to that 2.9, that'd be amazing. 2.66 you know what i'm gonna re-roll a couple times give me a couple minutes and i'll be right back okay guys so i did it a couple times here and i got 2.72 million damage so this kind of just shows you that average stacks is not everything so clanship your barrage you could have really good clanship your barrage luck or you could have good victory march luck but this is such bad stacks to be honest with you you want ideally a one stack but normally it's about 9.8 or 0.987 or something like that around there but 0.927 is brutal stacks but this is the most damage that i've got i think i read it about four times um so 2.72 is still quite a bit above our uh, not quite a bit actually it's only about you know 30 or 40k above our average but that was about all I could get in the last four times. And we're getting really close to destroying the head armor. So I don't want to go ahead and spend too much time because um, other people are probably going to be waiting for me to go ahead and submit this attack and share this attack. Take a look now. There's barely anything left on it. So there we go. So someone was waiting. Um, so we went ahead and submitted, which is perfect. But this is what I've been waiting for. This is what this, this is the real kicker. What is our percentage now after collecting all of our daily rewards? There's really nothing else. Oh, the tournament rewards. I forgot to tell you guys. I was so upset with this. I'm so bummed. So bummed at myself. So I definitely could have got first place. I was waiting for a last minute snipe and I had everything lined up, did an artifact optimizer, and I totally forgot about it. There was 10 minutes left and I took a break and I was like, oh, okay, I got to make sure I come back. Totally forgot about it. We were, uh, we were 50 stages away from this guy, less than 50 stages. I was so bummed, so upset at myself. 
um but unfortunately we got second place this could have gave me another 75 firestone so it basically eight prestiges that it could have saved me but like i said if we need to i will switch to a farm build and just go ahead and do as many prestiges as i can in the last day or so but we got 550 diamonds 150 tournament points five skill points 10 perks and 225 firestones it bugs me because i literally could have got like double not double the firestones but double the perks double the skill points double the tournament points and double the diamonds would have been amazing over double the diamonds actually but we're gonna go and collect the prize nonetheless uh four make it rains there please oh my goodness no we got six make it rains three power of swipings and one mana potion this is literally what i said yesterday i said as long as our luck is decent we will get a couple adrenaline rushes and a couple dooms to satisfy us till the next skill point tournament we have one doom now for the next crafting chart tournament which i guess is kind of okay because my plan now now that you can't bank relics so if you guys don't know the patch that's coming out here tuesday so actually the day you guys are watching this in the next couple hours the there will be a new patch update Basically, what it means is you can't really bank relics. All of the relics you have here counts as potential, whereas before it didn't. Um, so literally, there's no point in having relics here or investing your relics into an artifact optimizer, Book of Shadows. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and upgrade Book of Shadows again. We're at 56%, so we're still trying to climb up. But that's just so unfortunate. Our, our luck in the tournament, we didn't quite get first place. And our luck with the rewards is just brutal. So we literally have one Doom left. But like I said, that's going to be okay because I'll probably spend the last or the first 12 or so hours banking. And then I'll spend the last 12 hours or so pushing. So that's okay. We have five adrenaline rushes left. So this is going to be perfect for still be able to pop two of them during the crafting chart tournament because adrenaline rush is almost a must for preparing or banking for tournaments. So that's going to be nice. We got, I can't believe we got so many more make, make it rains, like six make it rains. I don't need that many over 60% of our rewards were make it rains, unfortunately, but that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Take a look at the shop here. We got bubbles for 90 diamonds. I already am saving up our diamonds. I haven't quite decided yet if we're going to spend our diamonds on the next crafting shard uh, promotion, the Titan chest crafting shard promotion, which is next. Or I think I may start saving up for the next dust promotion. The dust promotion is honestly really good. And in the long run, I think this is going to be the better option. Um, the crafting shards are nice for sure, but I think the dust is more important. So I may start saving up for the dust promo. It's going to be a while because the crafting shard one here should start pretty soon. And then after that, we have the skill points one, which will probably be another month, a month away, uh, maybe even a month and a half away. And then we have the dust promo after. So it's going to be quite a while till we get that. But I think it's going to be worth it, to be honest with you. I know dust is so useful when you're, you know, closer to max stage and stuff. And that's how you increase your adrenaline rush or your... um uh arcane bargain which is so important as well for you know, everything for pushing in main game um and obviously you know you're spending the dust on cards so you're getting uh better card levels doing more damage in your raids which is awesome as well so uh let's go ahead and take a look here at the uh dust shop actually so as you can see i have barely any dust uh, but thankfully, actually, well, not thankfully, but there's nothing that I want in here. I do want to go and show you guys the solo raid results. So we did get to portal 47. We're stuck on 48 at the moment. Hopefully near the end of the week, we can go and try again and maybe increase our, you know, damage somehow and try to beat it. But I, I just, I wasn't honestly even close, unfortunately. Uh, if we take a look here. Okay, so there's barely anything left on there. I just wanted to see. Um, so, yeah. So, we couldn't quite clear 48. As you can see, I have 1.27 million damage with a Victory March deck. Which is... I used this Victory March deck. Which is easy. Which should be easy. But there's just too much armor. There's full armor left on the head. So, if we can go ahead and remove that armor... Uh, maybe by optimizing these decks a little bit better that may help but let me know down below in the comments what decks you guys use for portal 48 because i'm having a little bit of difficulty with that one but hopefully we can complete it here soon and let's go ahead and collect all of our rewards honestly like i said before getting to portal 50, 40 is kind of the 40 and 50 are the two really really big ones uh the 10 crafting shards and then the 1.25 thousand dust uh from completing uh portal 50 is just absolutely insane so if you can worry about those two milestones honestly anything below that you're getting basically the same rewards uh you know there's nothing amazing with you know portal 38 for example uh but you definitely want to go and try to get to 40 and 50 if you can those are just amazing amazing rewards 
So luckily we don't need to spend any of our dust, but we're now back up to 2281. And we are about midway through in this raid, I'd say. Uh, we're currently on the third cycle, fourth cycle actually. So fourth cycle, we're about to destroy uh, this guy here. So we'll have two more Titans to go. So which is pretty, pretty close to the end. So that's awesome. But the moment we've been waiting for guys, let's check our percentage. I've been kind of dragging this on. Let's take a look. Okay. I hope... I honestly hope it hasn't updated, but I think it has. Wow, we are slacking, ladies and gentlemen. 11.58%. That is brutal. Okay, I need to do as many prestiges within the next 30 hours as I possibly can. Screw banking for or preparing for the crafting chart tournament. We are getting top 10%. I want it so bad, and we have a lot of work to go ahead and do. I feel like this hasn't included our tournament results though, because we were at 12% when we, when I started the video, I was at 12%. So to drop 0.4% from getting like 300 firestones, I don't think it's updated yet. I think that's just our dailies and the tournament hasn't updated yet, but I'm going to cross my fingers. But either way, I think I am going to be switching to a crafting shard or uh, the shadow clone farm build and going just to the firestone max stage to try to get as many prestiges as I possibly can. Like I said, in the last four hours or so, I've got about 16 prestiges. This is my 16th one. So I'm hoping that, you know, in the next day and, you know, 30 hours or so with a farm build, I'm not going to be getting any relics, but I should be able to get a lot of firestones, which is obviously the goal right now. I'm not, I'm not going without the top 10%. I run it so badly. So we're going to have to put in a little bit of extra effort right here. And I think in the end, it's going to be worth it. But guys, with that being said, I'm going to have to go and end today's video here. If you guys have enjoyed another Top Titans 2 video, be sure to go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more daily content. Take it, take it easy, guys. Peace out.